Uh, we're actually having a laugh about this because we don't act, we're, like we've had a lot of mutual friends and we've always been around each other, but we don't really know the point where we exactly hit it off. Connected. Yeah, it would have been on the <laughs> dance floor. Or Probably over a few drinks, a few cocktails. Yeah, it's standard. <laughs> the best thing I think about Cass and I is that we have the same sense of humor. Mm totally on the same wavelength and that's not something that's easy to find in a person. We first met at APN Outdoor which is where I was working at the time I'd only been there a couple of weeks mm. and then lovely Alice started and I knew that she'd be pretty cool because she was sharing some pretty awesome stories <laughs> about her previous jobs. It seems yeah. like I've known Renee for my whole life really yeah. opposed to just only this year or two yeah. well not this year it's a whole life she can't get back <laughs> it's almost like we're like kindred spirits in that way because we have very similar values and we are both really independent and I think that like travel was one thing that I think we bonded on we loved traveling yes. initially and and when we first met I mean you meet in university and it's such formative years and you're kind of finding your way and then going for new jobs and and having someone there that really understood exactly how you felt and you could talk to them and they you know weren't judgmental in any way they were just really supportive was fantastic i've got depression um i had a really bad year last year um, and went through a pretty tough time and i think the biggest thing for me was having a really tight support network that sort of came through and, and the likes of sarah and there's just been no judgment and they just let you feel the, the way you meant to feel and go from there i think that being able to understand each other being able to um, grow and be strong together and make each other stronger just by talking to each other and propping each other up when things don't go our way or when we've got a hard decision to make. That is phenomenal. We had something very big in common and that yeah. kind of helped us, you know, because we were both going through it. So we could both vent and we both understand. I reckon that probably the best way to explain it is that we bond, I think we decided, you know, salt water is good for everything. It's either, you know, tears, which is normally tears of laughter when we're around yeah. each other, um, <laughs> sweat by training, I think salt water by the ocean, and if all else fails, you just have a tin pan. The thing with Jessie is she does these quirky little sarcastic things that just pulls you in. And she also has these funny little sayings which are, you know, special to Jess. <laughs> what are some of those sayings? <laughs> Well, if I'll, I'll be like, Jessie, be quiet. She'll be like, you be quiet. And oh, then yeah. it's <laughs> yeah. so stuff like that. So, you know, you might, you might be having a really stressful, tense day at work. And then within two seconds, she's got you laughing. Well, we definitely do a lot of just generally eating and drinking together. I mean, um, a lot of it. A lot of it. It makes it sound like we're a bit of a pig, but that's not true. <laughs> um, we're both brunch people, so we generally meet up for brunch most of the time on the weekends. Yeah. We do tend to sit down and go, so the wine menu, the wine list, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Lots of discussing books, talk about movies a lot, TV series, we argue about Game of Thrones or The Walking yeah. Dead, all that kind of stuff. Um, and we talk about, yes, we should go and visit more art galleries and museums. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Shall we drink some more? Yes. Yeah. That's basically how it goes. We try to have like dinner nights where we just one of us will like, or a group of us will come and we'll cook for each other. That's, our, I guess, our way to sort of chin wag, wind mm. down, swap stories, help yeah. each other through different things if we need it. We don't, we don't chat on Facebook. I think Facebook is a bit, um, it's great for like general chit chat, but with your close friends, I, I actually want to hear their voice. I want to see them. So even when we text, it's not like a, oh, you know, mm -mm. this is happening and this is happening. How are you? What are you doing? It's when you're free, let's catch up. Yeah. And then we save all the chatting because yeah, yeah. we right. chat a lot. We save all the chatting for over a cuppa yeah. and a Tim Tam. Yeah. We've got more time, I think, for each other mm. because it turns out that our husbands have a lot in common <laughs> to the point that we can tune them out and keep talking. Yeah. They work for the same company. They both work at Qantas <laughs> and love planes. I think the first time was with my parents. It was like a, a real treat to sort of get it. We keep ours in the fridge, so um, trying to get a, a Tim Tam out of my dad's hands was always a big deal, but I managed to get it that way. First time I tried a Tim Tam, I don't remember, but the first memory I have of a Tim Tam was sharing a Tim Tam with my cousin, who's from Queensland, and it was a lot of fun. It was special because she's older than I am. And it was like I was being introduced to something just delicious and amazing and yeah, it was nice. I was fighting with my sister Fora the last one. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she won, but I did get, I managed to get a little bite. I mean, there's going to be a fight for the last yeah. one here. <laughs> At university, I went to a uni and had three American girlfriends and we bought a packet of Tim Tams and um, everyone was like, have you had a Tim Tam orgasm? And I was like, what is a Tim Tam orgasm? This other Australian girl showed us. And so the only thing that the American girls remember about Australia is Tim Tams. I had the Tim Tam, so my husband won't completely polish them off. <laughs> she I limits to... him to one a week. I had my Tim Tams for my husband, but the problem is he's six foot four, so I can't <laughs> hide them up high, so I hide them down low, because it's <laughs> harder for him to get down low than it is for me to get up high. Who I would bring Tim Tams out for? Not many people. <laughs> Well, I would bring it out for this girl. She She's better. one of my faves. She knows if she doesn't, I'll go and find them. No. I wouldn't bring it out for my sister, that's for sure. <laughs> That'd be a fight. <laughs> because she'd eat them all. <laughs> yeah, def definitely only the special friends and family. Mm. Like, we're pretty picky on who we share our Tim Tams with, so mm. the fact that we can share Tim Tams with each other, we haven't fought yet. No. <laughs> we haven't opened the pack up anymore either. <laughs> No, it's good because you pull it out, you have a chat. Like it's it's like a it's a conversation. It's a little starter. ritual. Yeah. Have a chat, have a tim tam. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey. You can have one. I've already had one. You can have another. Thank you. Oh, not that one. <laughs> oh, I don't. Any occasion's a good yeah. occasion for a tim tam. Yeah. Any. Any occasion. Yeah, you can have a Tim Tam at any time. Any time. Well, we can. Our husbands can't. No, that's right. Um, What's a Tim Tam orgasm, though? That's... You never had a Tim Tam orgasm? No. Well, no. How are we friends? I don't know. Are you a tea dunker? And a chew each, a bit, a bite of each How do you go with caramel doing that? Through? Oh, it's the best. <laughs> oh, okay, I haven't tried it. that. I try the normal one, but I get annoyed because it just melts too fast. I yeah, like you, to chew. There's a fine line of sucking. It's only like you just a little suck and then in the mouth. <laughs> You're a master of it. <laughs> I chew the outside and then take it apart and then eat the cream and then eat the biscuit. There's a few moments in our friendship where Jessie lets me down. This is one of them. Yeah, sorry. Let, I'll show you. Okay. You have to go over the mug. Right, okay. Sit forward a bit. I don't okay. want to get it on your couch. All right, so, everything's ended up on this couch. Okay. Fine. So you bite, a tip off, yeah, and then you flip it and mm -hmm. bite it from the other diagonally okay. on the other end. <laughs> Follow my instructions carefully. Anyway. Just a little nibble, right? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm then you put the tim tam, the bitten end, in the hot tea. Okay. And then you suck from the other end. Okay. Only for about two seconds, and then you have to shove it in your mouth okay. because it melts very quickly. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. So beautiful. It's the best thing when someone, no one knows about the. Like the Tim Tam slime, and you show them, and they're like, "Oh, this is yes. amazing!" Tim Tams are like, you know, whole new taste now, like flavour. Don't hit. I think I've been all over my face. <laughs> Sean's so like. <laughs> it's kind of like your treat. Like it's a good bite size, packet size. Um, <laughs> mm. Never-ending Tim Tams. I'm still looking for them. <laughs> It's nice having someone who understands you without having to talk about it. It's nice saying, let's go for dinner and just being happy going for dinner. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But those kinds of moments, uh, I mean, they make up life, you know, and, and friendship mm -hmm. and good friends, you know, which stay strong despite everything that might happen in your life and in their life, I think. People take that for granted, so we don't ever want to take that for granted because, you know, it's, it's hard to come by.